So what do we got going on here? Rolling out some donut dough. Here in just a little bit, we're going to be showing you how to make some fillings for donuts. Got a whole video on how to do the whole process, but right now we're just rolling out some dough that I've already got mixed up here. Is this approximately thin as well? It's not as approximately thin as last time. Right now this is about medium thin to thick. <laughs> So what I'm doing here is I'm forking lemons so that we've got plenty of lemon juice for the upcoming video. Over here I've got some prepared gelatin that's also going to be for the, for the uh, filling of the donuts. I've just got some uh, leftover dough I'm just kind of rolling it into a ball. And I'm going to leave it alone to rest for a little bit before I cut it again. Alright, so we're going to start out by making a blueberry filling. Uh, got everything prepared over here uh, basically we've just got a saucepan we have water lemon juice I'll go over the amounts in a second uh, white sugar and blueberries so what we've got right here is just about 200 milliliters of water just a little bit less than a cup I'm gonna dump it into a small saucepan and right here this is just a little bit less than three quarters of a cup of sugar Gonna mix that in here. Make sure it is well dissolved the best we can in the water. All right, so right here I have approximately 10 ounces of blueberries. I'm gonna go ahead and add these in here. And the ratio that we're looking here, for, looking for here, is about one. Uh, sorry, two parts blueberries to one part each of sugar and water. So I'm just going to kind of mix this in here. Have some lemon juice, and I have something else right here. I'm just going to get that out. I mean, probably part of the plant of the blueberry that just kind of came along. I'm going to pour in a rough tablespoon of lemon juice. You don't have to be exact on this. This is just going to kind of bring out the flavor of the blueberries, give it a little bit of tart, tartness. And I've got this on close to high heat, and I'm going to let this come up to a boil. And I'm going to go, and after that, I'll cover and simmer it for a while. So we've got this up to a rolling boil. And as you can see, now we've got some of these uh, blueberries are basically just starting to pop open. A lot of the juices and the flesh from inside is just starting to come out. You can see how purple that water is already turning right there, getting all that flavor from the berries. So from here, we're actually just going to turn this heat down really, really low. I'm just going to put it as low as my stove will go, cover it up. And I'm basically just trying to squish up the berries as much as I can. As you can kind of see, they're already doing it a lot themselves because they're already so soft. The goal here is to get it to where I can get these small enough to be able to pipe into our donuts later using this tip. So I'm basically just going to keep whisking it until it's ready. So right now what we have is basically a very thin berry sauce. Uh, so once this gets up to a boil, I'm going to add approximately one quarter cup of prepared unflavored gelatin. This is basically prepared exactly according to package directions. Um, good, basically I'm just going to go ahead and dump it into my saucepan here. It's going to come out all like that. Take my whisk and basically just kind of press it down to start to break it up. Whisk it in until it all dissolves. Now what this is going to do is it's going to start to turn it from a sauce into a thicker filling. So we're using that gelatin as our thickener for this case. Just kind of taking a peek at the actual donuts we got going on in here. If you want to know how to make these, I've got another video just about making the actual donuts. But I've got some donuts cut into little circles here and these are going to be for our filled donuts. Uh, the video I have shows making donuts with holes cut out. But this right here will be just fine. And this right here just an idea if you watch the donut video I took some dough that I didn't want to cut into donuts made a loaf and this is gonna make an interesting kind of sweeter bread that I'm gonna use for French toast soon so we're gonna basically repeat this exact same process I've got the same uh, measurements as before only difference is this time I'm using about the same amount of raspberries and blackberries mixed together I go ahead and get the sugar in we're gonna whisk that together And again, I've got it over about medium high heat, uh, and we're gonna, as soon as all this stuff gets mixed together, it's gonna come to a boil. Get our blackberries, raspberries in, add a little bit of lemon juice, 
stir it up a bit. And we're just going to basically leave this alone until it comes up to a boil. I'm going to kind of break up the berries. They're nice and soft now. And raspberries and blackberries actually are much easier to deal with, in my opinion, than blueberries. Because basically, they just break apart into these little sections all on their own. You don't really have to even work it that much. So I'm just going to continue whisking that until it's all broken up. So we're just about there now. We have a good brisk whisking pattern going on here. Just a bit. All right, so I've got about a quarter of a cup of gelatin just like before. I'm going to dump it in. We're just going to basically break it up and stir it until it's all dissolved. Just like before, we're going to throw it into a bowl, and we're going to let it sit at room temperature until it... Uh, starts to set just a bit and then we're going to throw it in the refrigerator. So now we're going to be basically making a cream filling. Uh, in this case I'm actually going to be making like a thin uh, buttercream frosting like you put on a cake. Uh, there are lots of different ways to do cream filling for a donut. This is the way that I like. Uh, I think you try it out and you'll like it as well. So what I've got going here I have uh, two sticks of unsalted butter. It's softened in here having the, the uh, bowl of my stand mixer. What I'm going to do is I've got the paddle attachment here I'm going to go ahead and lock this in place. I'm going to uh, turn it on and let this butter just start to basically cream by itself before we add any of our sugar. Alright, so now that that started to uh, break down a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and open up my mixer. We're going to be adding in about a total of three cups of confectioner sugar. I have about a half cup here, and I'm basically going to do it a rough half cup at a time. You don't have to measure this part exactly. I'm going to show you how we can kind of do this by feel, so it doesn't have to be precise. So let's go ahead and get that in there. Go ahead and get that started to incorporate. Always start this on low speed to start with because otherwise you're going to get powdered sugar everywhere. So start on the lowest your mixture can go. Now you can do this with a hand mixer as well, but I really prefer to do it with KitchenAid. It makes so much, makes it so much easier. I'm going to go ahead and bump it up now to a higher speed. It's all about four right now. Okay, and basically what we're going to do is we're just going to keep incorporating in a half a cup of powdered sugar at a time until it starts to thicken up and really start to look like a frosting. And then at the end we're going to thin it out with some milk. Alright, so at this point I'm going to go ahead and switch to the uh, whisk attachment on the KitchenAid. We're going to lower that down. Now I want to start adding in, I've got about a quarter of a cup of milk. I'm more than likely not going to use all this. But I'm going to start out just the splash, maybe about half the total amount of milk I've got here. And I'm going to pour in approximately one tablespoon or maybe closer to maybe two teaspoons of imitation vanilla. This is one of those things I honestly never measure. I just splash a little bit in. It's very forgiving because it's just for flavor so it doesn't really affect the overall recipe too much. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on again, low speed to start with. Gradually bump it up. And this is going to get way thinner than a typical buttercream frosting would be because we're actually going to be piping this inside of donuts. I'm going to bump the speed up a little bit more. I'm going to get this nice and whipped. So the idea here is just to whip it up till it's nice and fluffy. It needs to be really easy to pipe into our donuts. It's so fluffy I can die. <laughs> it's almost there right now. So now we're having uh, probably one of the most important steps. We're going to try it out. Spoon. Just your average everyday spoon. doesn't have to be uh, silver or anything special. Take this right here. Check it, make sure it looks good. That'll do it for us. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I've uh, reserved some of our buttercream slash cream filling here. I'm gonna dump it into a bowl here. And what I'm gonna be doing this time is I've actually got some lemon curd over here that was not made by me, but it's tasty nonetheless. And I'm gonna take a big glob out of it, dump it in there. I've got a little bit of the buttercream getting onto the uh, lemon curd, but that's okay. We'll dig it out and we'll fix it. That's okay. They pretty much have the same ingredients. 
Yeah, pretty much. The only difference is the one has uh, egg yolks and lemon added. But uh, I've got some uh, some more lemon juice here. I'm going to add to just kind of zest up the lemon flavor a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to combine these two. I'm going to start out by just kind of folding it over on itself. So I don't want that lemon juice splashing everywhere. So we're just going to fold it, start to get it incorporated. And this is going to become our lemon donut filling. So if you've watched the uh, full donut video, you've seen this part already. The only difference is I am making donuts right here that do not have the holes cut out. Is these are going to be filled with our filling from earlier in the video. Nice and golden brown, poofy. Okay, so I've got our lemon filling here and I've got a piping bag that's inside of this uh, small tumbler glass. And what I'm gonna do is I'm basically just gonna take it by the spoonful, carefully, drop it down into the bag. Once you get a little bit more comfortable with it, you can slowly scrape it in there. I have a piping bag here with an injection tip. This is actually designed to go inside of the donut and pump the uh, filling straight into the middle of it. All right, so I'm just gonna poke a hole in the donut right here with our injection tip. I'm gonna squeeze the filling in there. Just until it starts to come out right there. Okay, so we've taken our donuts, put it on a plate over here, uh, sifted some powdered sugar on the top and cut it in half. As you can see, even though it's coming out, this one was very full. All right, so taking after taking way more time than we're going to show you in this video, we have done this. Basically, we've uh, taken every one of our donuts and we've filled it with one of the fillings. Uh, overall, we ended up with a raspberry blackberry filling, a blueberry filling, a buttercream filling, and finally a lemon buttercream filling. And we basically, we've stacked them up in a nice tower, put powdered sugar on all of them, and now all that's left to do is eat them. <laughs> Well, hey, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm just really getting started with these videos, so my idea is we're going to get these a little bit more professional each time and more refined. Right now, they're a bit long and drawn out. That's okay, though. I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. I've got a Patreon link. I'm working on it. I'm going to put it somewhere on this video. You'll find it. It's probably gonna, definitely going to be in the description if I can put it on the video, one of these little corners, <laughs> wherever you want me to point. You should be able to find that also. I hope uh, to continue putting out more of these. Um, as we go, we'll get some better ones too. So, thanks for watching. See you next time. That one's just not part of it. You're good. You're good. If you turn it off, you're good.